Okay, so you want to start an AI agency, but you have no idea what you can actually offer. Well, in this video, we're going to be going over exactly what you can offer and how you can offer it, as well as giving you some examples of potential workflows that you could start offering clients from today. Now, if you watch any of my other videos, you would know that I have an AI agency where we're currently generating over $50,000 every single month, and I want to help you guys do the same. So let's get started with this video. It's going to be a walkthrough presentation style video, so make sure you stick through right until the end because there is some serious serious value that you wouldn't have seen anywhere else on youtube i can guarantee you that so let's jump into it so first question is what services can you offer your clients this is something that i get asked every single day by so many of you so i really wanted to put this video together because i know this is clearly what you need help with. So we break it up into four different things. We have AI integrations, which includes custom tools and chatbots. We also have lead gen and capture. So coming up with smart ways to capture leads for clients, whether that's integrating a chatbot onto their landing page or finding out cool ways to offer value to their clients in exchange for an email or lead data. We then have lead automation. So once that lead has come through, what happens to that lead? Are they added into automatic workflows? Do they get sent to a different piece of software like an email marketing software you can offer all of this and lastly we have workflow automations which kind of ties all of this in together but workflow automations are something that you can offer on the back end and like i said this is something that i'm going to be going over later showing you some real world examples exactly how we do it at our agency so with any client that you're going to be working with they have one thing on their mind and that is bringing in new clients but specifically service-based businesses b2b businesses this is where you're going to find the lowest barrier to entry when you're actually coming into these businesses and starting to offer what we're going to talk about today so they have their traffic which then gets pushed through to high-end sales funnels that maybe you build and you manage that is then fed through some sort of smart ai lead gen whether that's a chatbot or some sort of smart setup with a tool that is giving them value in exchange for an email or lead capture. Then that goes into their AI lead and data automations, which we will be setting up. So this is exactly what we do at our agency. We help them bring in new traffic to sales funnels that we build and that we create. Inside of those sales funnels are smart AI tools and different chatbots that then collect data from the user. And we then feed that into their CRM and automate the entire backend process with smart workflows and different AI tools that make these little steps much much easier so that they don't have to plug members of staff into it and spend loads of money managing it on a day-to-day -day basis so let's jump into zapier now you would have all heard of zapier i've been talking about it a lot i've seen other youtubers talk about it a lot but i want to specifically show you what zapier can be used for and why this is going to be your number one go-to beginner friendly ai tool zapier helps with a lot of different things let's go over a couple of examples today so workflow automations Think of Zapier like a bot that can do certain tasks automatically whenever something happens in your apps. So essentially Zapier plugs in and it uses webhooks and also integrations with already built apps. What it then does is say for example, I put an email on a spreadsheet, Zapier will look at that data that's hit that spreadsheet and automatically complete an action that we set. Maybe that action is we want to send them an email as soon as they land on that spreadsheet, or we want to send them a link to a drive download. There are so many different integrations. There are literally thousands thousands of apps this plugs into but this is why Zapier is our perfect go-to tool because it covers so many different apps and a lot of these companies are all using different CRMs and different ways of running their business so we're not trying to reinvent the wheel entirely we're just trying to bring in a tool that can help facilitate pretty much everything that they have going on and it allows their different platforms that they're using to speak to one another. We have integrations of AI tools. So Zapier, like I said, can actually connect to AI tools with other apps to do tasks automatically for you too. So there is a chat GPT integration. So we've done it with clients where we set them up with a page. We take a ton of data on that page. We then use Zapier to port that information over to chat GPT. Chat GPT then answers based on whatever queries or search terms were put onto that initial lead form. It then sends that data back to Zapier and then Zapier then sends that information via email to the customer. So right there, you've already built a custom AI chatbot powered by ChatGPT simply by using Zapier as the middleman facilitating all of that data. So instruction-based actions. These AI programs in Zapier can follow instructions to work with information from apps that you provide. So kind of like I just said, sits in the middle, handles everything and can work with a ton of different apps. Response handling. Zapier makes sure the answers or results from the AI programs are kept safe and used properly. Management of Zap. So one good thing I love about Zapier, it kind of has this foolproof system where it can't break. So 
if for whatever reason your zap doesn't run and by the way zaps are tasks if your zapier cuts out midway and you know something hasn't worked and a, and a link in the chain has broken zapier will actually save all of that data and pause the zap it will hold it back for whenever the chain is fixed you can go back in and you can click rerun tasks and zapier will carry on from where it left off and there won't be any discrepancies of information or data provided there wasn't obviously any huge mistakes that happened now, AI tool authentication and memories. Zapier uses API keys to access these AI programs and remember things for future tasks. So it actually does have memory. It connects to ChatGPT, like I said. So if someone inputs their email and Zapier sends a task to ChatGPT, well, that email is now gonna have data and memory attached to it so that if someone does it again with the same email, they would already know that they would have filled in this data and they would already know the answers that they've already received if that makes sense, I hope it does. So next step, we have chatbots. Now I've spoken about this extensively in another video and I see chatbots as the best way to open up a door of conversation to a potential client. If you reach out to people right now and say, hey, we've built you a chatbot or hey, we have this chatbot example for you to use, that just shows your value up front. And that is going to chink those doors open. And that is your biggest opportunity. A lot of times with SMMA, it was all about getting people on a call and trying to sign them up first before you could show any value. Whereas with AI, we have the ability to create these chatbots very, very easily and we can get them live very quickly. So we can get them in front of people, we can pre-build them for people and we can just open up those conversations. What can we use chatbots for? Number one, customer service, handling common customer inquiries 24 seven, providing instant responses and freeing up time. So ensuring that members of staff don't have to sit there manning the phone or manning emails responding to mundane and outright silly questions that potential clients may be sending in. This saves them time, this saves them money. Sales assistants, guiding customers through the buying process, providing product recommendations based on user inputs and past buying behavior. You could plug into an e-commerce store and use the link of that website to basically train that chatbot. So if someone came to your website and said, hey, I want to buy something with these dimensions or this color and this size, what do you have? That chatbot is then gonna scrape the data from that website and start recommending products based on that input. So this alone is super powerful and super valuable for e-commerce brand owners and something that I'm gonna see a lot of you working on, I'm very, very sure. So lead generation, engaging website visitors, gather contact information and qualify leads based on preset criteria. So kind of doing like scorecards where you take data, you take information, that feeds into Zapier, it goes through a qualification and then the lead gets sent to a CRM where they're then managed and pushed through workflows, just like we spoke about. Personalized marketing, deliver personalized content and offers based on user interactions and data helping to improve conversion rates. So very similar to all of these really. And then feedback collection, conduct customer satisfaction surveys and gather feedback, providing valuable insights for business improvement. Now there are businesses to start just from these ideas alone, but we have another page. So we also have cost reduction, automating repetitive tasks. Chatbots can help reduce operational costs there. Data analysis, analyze customer data to identify trends, preferences, and areas for improvement. So maybe that's an internal chatbot. Maybe that sits inside of the company and is fed data and just helps staff members or sales teams make educated decisions based on previous experience and previous data. Booking and scheduling, handling appointments, bookings, and schedule changes, providing convenience for both the business and the customers. So maybe on restaurant websites, or maybe this is for your local salon. They can now start taking booking instead of picking up a phone you plug in a smart ai calendar you plug in a chatbot they handle all the bookings they make sure it makes sense there's no double bookings and this chatbot does all the heavy lifting for you next up we have employee onboarding and training now i spoke about this in another video as well but having a chatbot that would sit alongside your staff members that has been pre-trained on all the educational content or documentation that new staff members are given why do they need to be sat with someone being trained one-on-one -on -one? why can't they just have access to a chatbot who can run them through next steps, help them with any questions, you know, it acts as like an internal FAQ for that new member of staff. So again, these are just ideas, but you can see it really is endless here. All you need to do is use a little bit of your brain and you can start to come up with many, many more ideas. You can literally go and ask ChatGPT for more ideas too. That's uh, also the smart play. That is literally just scratching the surface of what you could potentially be offering your potential clients. So there are also AI tools away from processes, automations with chatbots and you know landing pages and CRM management. We have AI tools. We have the likes of Synthesia that can create high quality videos without the need for cameras or actors companies can use it to produce sales videos product demos 
Fireflies, it automatically records, transcribes, and takes minutes for meetings. It's gonna help save them time on manual note taking. This one alone has blown away so many people that I've been on a call with. They're like, whoa, what is that? And I'm like, Fireflies AI. And they're like, what does it do? I'm like, takes your minutes, so you don't have to do it anymore. And they're like, what the fuck, that's crazy. I'm like, yeah, it's pretty simple to set up as well. So it just shows that these companies have no idea this exists. So. All of these ideas you could uh, become super hyper specific about and offer to individual niches at an individual level. Maybe you don't want to go full on lead management and lead generation. You just wanna go into helping businesses take minutes in their meetings with the help of fireflies.ai. So I don't need to go through all of these others, but you can pause the video and take a look. But this is where it gets exciting. I wanna run through the AI workflows that you can produce with Zapier. Now, like I said, we use Zapier with every single client that we have, and we also use Zapier all over our business because it is just amazing. Once you start using it, you start to realize the potential and you realize that you can pretty much automate everything in your life and it gets incredibly dangerous. But let's jump into it. So. We can see here an example. It's very, very simple. I'm gonna lay this out so that we see individual apps that we're gonna be using, as well as where the lead comes in, where the automations happen, and what apps we are using in what place. So this is just, like I said, an example. You can make it as complex as you like or as simple as you like, but I just wanna run through a couple of ideas for you. So you have your lead that comes into your page with a chatbot, or maybe it just goes directly to a chatbot. Your chatbot then collects the data. It sends it to ChatGPT, which is all being interlinked with Zapier. ChatGPT then goes back to Zapier, feeds in the information that Zapier is then gonna send into your CRM. And then that CRM is gonna be set up with automatic workflows that then start moving that lead through the sales process. So from step A to Z, Zapier has been there every step of the way, connecting all of these apps together and ensuring that all of the data from that first initial lead contact point from chatbot is moved directly into the CRM and handled perfectly with new workflows. Here's a little bit more of a complex idea, but again, super simple to set up. This shouldn't be intimidating to you guys. It is very, very easy once you get started, but we have our leads. It gets sent to Zapier. We have options here. Maybe Zapier wants to send those leads to an automatic email from Gmail. Then it wants to send them a Google Drive link inside of that email for them to download a guide or download a brochure that they've requested on that initial lead form. Or perhaps Zapier wants to send them directly to the CRM where we have automatic workflows set up, automating all of the sales processes, booking in calls with these new leads, and then sending them to a payment page. So all of these steps are manageable with the help of Zapier to help with that first initial integration. And then a lot of CRMs have these workflow options that we can build in and we can optimize ongoing. So we then have an option to maybe send the new lead into our email marketing software, whether that's MailChimp or Klaviyo. And inside of MailChimp, we can set up automations there. So we can set up auto email flows. So every two, three days, we send out new emails to these leads that are coming in from Zapier. Now, some of you may be sat there thinking, well, there isn't too much AI stuff going on here. And to be honest, like I've said before, AI isn't actually that new. It's been around for several years now, and a lot of these apps have been around for several years as well. But now we're starting to see more and more integrations with different tools and different apps. It's just starting to blow up. So a lot of these businesses don't understand Zapier. They don't even know it exists. So if you can just get in, become an expert at Zapier and start to understand how you can automate all of these workflows and just take off the pressure from your client, you're gonna be in the best situation possible. You essentially want to manage that entire process. You don't just wanna collect data, you wanna then be able to plug in and offer your clients another layer of service where you handle everything for them and you make the whole process super, super simple. So like I said, sales funnels and lead capture. Maybe you're building the funnels for them. You're creating content with AI. You're generating leads with innovative AI-based chatbots that are collecting the emails and pre-qualifying the leads too. You can then collect the data. And like I said, it's all then managed by using Zapier. So that is gonna be your best friend moving forward. How are you gonna do that? You're gonna use funnel builders like ClickFunnels or maybe just drag and drop websites like Wix or Squarespace. It really is quite simple to set up landing pages these days. And then you're gonna use these funnels combined with Zapier or other advanced chatbots like bot press or like i've spoken about in a previous video that custom gpt and zapier is then going to send all that data and information collected 
into your CRM. Now I'm gonna be posting way more advanced videos coming up over the next couple of weeks. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you're not already. And then of course you have lead management, which is sales processes, automating workflows, AI tools and integrations, increasing efficiency and effectiveness of these campaigns. So very, very simple there, but that is just another layer that you can start to offer. If you wanna deep dive into the back end of these businesses and really help them with every step of their process, there are tools for that. And that is something that you can offer. Other opportunities that you have. If you don't want to go onto the back end, you don't want to be working in CRMs and you're not confident in that, there are so many AI tools that are out there that open up a full world of service-based businesses that you could be offering. So automate content creation and posting, create content using AI editors and content writers. This is perfect for YouTubers and course creators. You know, imagine being able to go to them and say, hey, we can automate this entire process so you don't have to be manually sitting on TikTok or Instagram and we can take the content that you put on YouTube and bottle it up into a blog post, for example. There are AI tools out there for that. Even ChatGPT4 with the new plugins can literally scrape data from YouTube videos and you can get text from those YouTube videos as well, which makes this process super simple. So again, this is perfect for brands that are generating leads and have a long sales process, service-based companies or high ticket preferably. So we work with a lot of brands that you know, they bring in a lead and that is just 20% of the work. They then need to nurture that lead and push them through different steps of that sales process to upsell them into their service. You know, book them onto a call, show them a demo, get some brochures sent out to them. And AI is helping with all of that. We're taking away a large chunk of that initial manual labor using tools like Zapier and setting up workflows inside of these CRMs. And we have an AI web design service that builds wireframes and website plans for clients. So this would be perfect for designers and design agencies essentially. Mind the typos, my bad. So you can see it's more than just chatbots. It's more than just, you know, teaching people how to use ChatGPT and uh, plugging in a chatbot to their website. We're talking about automating tasks that can be automated. We're increasing efficiency and reducing costs. We're bringing businesses into future tech and we are the ones facilitating that transition for them. You are gonna become experts. You are going to be the AI gods. You're gonna step into these businesses with all of these tools at your disposal, all of this knowledge that you have, and you're gonna be able to automate, save them time and save them money. Those are your key USBs, your unique selling points. But this is not easy. You need to work. You need to understand this. I know in the online business space, it is always screamed about how easy it is to make money. Let me tell you now, it is not. I've been doing it for seven years online full time. And not once have I sat there and been like, man, this is easy. It's a fucking grind. And if you're watching this video and you've got through this like 20 minute video so far, I'm proud of you because you obviously know what it takes. You need to learn, you need to educate yourself and you need to constantly be better. I know some of you in the comments are gonna be thinking, great, this is all great information, but how am I gonna get leads? How can I actually sign people up? Where do I actually go to find these clients? Well, luckily your boy is coming in with that too. So these are all methods that we use at our agency. So you know they are working. This is exactly how we find leads. We have tons of different outreach methods. We have email outreach. So reaching out to huge volumes of clients via email every day, niche down and target. There are different email platforms like Apollo, where you can scrape leads from different business niches and you can start sending out emails automatically. Again, I'm gonna deep dive this entire sales process and outreach method in a later video. But for now, this is just gonna give you an overview. You have LinkedIn outreach. So reaching out and connecting with people that are decision makers within your niche every day start new conversations that is the key do not go out trying to sell your goal is to start a conversation and get someone to respond to you once you've done that that's the heavy part done you now just need to offer them value and provide that value so instagram outreach message decision makers in your niche start a conversation again organic content maybe you want to create content around your service and start building a brand you know tiktok youtube instagram short form or long form it doesn't matter this is one of the best ways to bring in new traffic and get new business creating content just like i'm doing now providing value up front this helps me talk to potential clients they see these videos and they see that i'm an expert in the space and that is what they want so your network is the last thing that you need to focus on. Build a network, become the AI guy or girl. Tell everyone what you're doing and just start providing value to people with free chatbots. This is super, super low barrier to entry. Anyone can do it, it just takes effort. So back to that slide, you need to work. To wrap things up, like I've said, you need to become an expert. You need to be able to focus and really, really learn as much as you can, as quickly as you can. This niche is going to become saturated 
relatively quickly. As soon as we start getting more people talking about this on YouTube, you're going to miss the boat. So you need to become a fucking beast and a machine right now. You need to move quick. Not only that, you need high volume. You need to be putting in the reps every single day at a very high rate. That is across your outreach, that is across your delivery. You need to be grinding. You need to get higher volume in. And that is the way that you're gonna be able to scale and maintain a healthy business. Now lastly, this is the most important thing that I can ever teach you guys. Don't sell, just give value. Find problems, provide solutions. That is all business is. Whenever I get new email inquiries coming into myself or new DMs coming into me, everyone is trying to sell me straight away. They don't understand the problems that I have. They don't care to even know. They think they're just copying and pasting a message saying, hey, I'd love to edit your short form videos for you. It's going to work. Let me tell you, it doesn't. There is no value provided up front. The only person who catches my attention are people that actively go and do the work first. They then send me the email and say, hey, I've done this for you. You can use it or you can't. Completely up to you. If you want to chat through it, let's jump on a call. That is valuable. You've given me value up front. Remember it. This is key. Please, please, please do it. But guys, that is it for me today. If you want to join my free Telegram, links are down below. You can also join our free agency Discord, the network. Also, links down below. I would love to see you over there. If you have any questions for me, reach out. Love to hear from you and would love to help you. Guys, you're all fucking legends. You're gonna kill this. I'm super, super excited for you. Just put in the work. Bye-bye.